hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the uh, important concepts actually super important concepts uh, from the web subject because the web subject is a very uh, big subject and there are many concepts in that as well as the codes are there okay so what are the topics you need to focus upon and uh, that can fetch you more marks by the least amount of preparation okay that will be the first thing and at last also i'll be sharing you some tips like uh, if it is uh, 6 a.m and uh, like uh, you started to study at night but your girlfriend started texting you and you threw your books away and you started texting her back and it was 6 a.m she went to sleep and you are left without studying the web okay so at that situation what you have to study and uh, is it possible for you to pass the subject still uh, even if you start at 6 a.m and just have one or two hour left so that concepts will be discussing at the end of this video okay so in the link you can find it uh, in the description you can find a link uh, known as uh, 6m in that link you can find the uh, folder super tricks in super tricks you can find uh, a file called as um, web super tricks okay so in that you can find the import uh, means the timetable uh, for what uh, how many marks is there how much time it will take which are the important concepts and what is the probability of it getting asked in exam okay so that's one uh, thing if you have uh, means uh, you can either uh, refer that document or you can watch this video anyway in, in this video i'll uh, cover all those concepts okay so uh, mainly there are uh, five modules in the uh, web so where you have to start from and what are the concepts you need to focus more upon and what are the concepts you can skip okay so i have written that in a sheet of paper i'll be uh, seeing that sheet of paper and i'll be telling you okay so uh, in the first module you have that uh, two topics which is uh, basic introduction to html as well as uh, css right so in that uh, you need to focus more upon the basic introduction to html in that uh, many topics are there like the structure of the document syntax and the uh, various elements so uh, those are the concepts which you need to focus upon it will uh, it is totally of three topics and along with lists okay lists has the uh, tags li tag ol tag and ul tag that will take 10 minutes each so those whole topics will take 30 minutes okay and uh, that can fetch you uh, marks like 7 to 8 marks if that question comes okay and the next one is the css intro and the important question is the location of style sheets like inline declaration you will do external as well as the internal declaration okay so those three types and what is css benefits of css what is css benefits of css as well as the introduction to html you can write by yourself and the tags are there in html that also you need to uh, keep in mind that was from the module one and uh, that will take you around um 45 minutes okay total uh, including the introduction to html and css if you have basic idea it will just take uh, take you 15 minutes to just revise it okay then coming to the uh, second module you have um, uh, tables as well as the forms so you can either go with the tables or the forms okay but the tables is a shorter topic and you just have their row span column span and forms is a longer topic okay but the uh, more probability is uh, to get marks in forms because it's a longer topic more questions can be asked in that and in both of these topics there can also be the um, coding type of questions asked like uh, they'll give you the output in that you have to see the output and uh, draw the uh, means write the code for it okay so that can also come basic theory and the code either go for it full okay like if you are studying forms study forms full spend uh, time on that as well as um, do the codes okay means uh, practice the code parts like how to do the radio buttons tick buttons input controls so those things are uh, much uh, asked okay so if you learn the code it will help you write the code snippets in the theory as well if they give you the output you can write the code as well okay and the next part is the positioning elements and liquid layout okay positioning elements and liquid layout is an important concept in that you have the uh, fixed and the absolute position and the relative position in liquid layout you need to uh, know the basic uh, concept behind liquid layout and how it works okay and there are other concepts like the floating elements and the z index value if you have time you study that also so it will hardly take you around um 15 to 20 minutes for the positioning and for the tables it will take you 10 to 20 minutes okay so within 45 minutes you can finish this as well okay second module coming to third module the important concepts are client side scripting js syntax and dom dom there is a theory as well as the uh, code part is also there okay so whatever you can uh, memorize you memorize it will take five minutes for the client side scripting and for the javascript syntax it will take 30 minutes because there are many syntax like the variables for loops and the if else conditions functions and uh, yeah that will take around 45 minutes okay then coming to php syntax there is a quick tour of php there are many things like the arrays and the javascript also arrays don't forget to uh, study and the operation of the arrays because explicitly that uh, question has been asked what is the uh, arrays and the uh, operations of the arrays okay so it will take you uh, 1 to 1.5 hour so for the whole thing like uh, for the module 3 
Coming to module 4, there are very very important questions and the most expected and repeated questions. The first is the super global arrays, in that we have the get and the post array as well as the server array. So get and post is the most repeated, don't miss it, uh, don't miss it at any cost, okay. Basically, after write the theory, what is get, what is post and one uh, code is there for get, one code is there for post. That's, uh, that's all what you have to do, it will hardly take you around 10 minutes for that. Then we have reading and writing of the files in PHP, if you get completed with the get and post, you can go to that. Either do these two things, uh, what I mean is a super global get post and uh, reading and writing files either do this completely or do this completely which is php class and objects you need to know the syntax of class and objects and the uh, theory concepts regarding data encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism either this one or this one spend time more on either this one or this one okay that will be uh, more be uh, beneficial for you because mostly they have asked uh, together okay means either php class with the data encapsulation and all or super global arrays with reading and writing files okay so uh, moving on to the last module we have cookies a very important concept and there we have the reading and creating and the writing of the cookies what are the different types of cache two types of cache are there don't miss that and jquery selectors xml and json the xml and json processing is there so those are the very important concepts and it will take you around uh, 1.5 hour for the module 5 but these are the very much repeated concepts if you're going with the module 5 either go with uh, cookies and uh, type of caching or jquery selectors and xml json okay means uh, make that uh, combination and in jquery selectors don't miss it uh, don't miss it at any cost okay because in J uh, uh, jquery selectors there are uh, topics which are uh, most frequently repeated okay so it will take you around uh, 1.5 hour as i told you and um, that's all uh, to quickly revise what you need to study basic introduction to html and css intro tables or forms positioning elements liquid layout PHP syntaxes, client side scripting versus server side script, uh, scripting, J JavaScript syntax, and DOM. And coming to super global arrays, uh, get and the poster if you have time, read the server array as well. Reading and writing of the files, PHP class and objects, data encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism, cookies with the uh, codes for creating, reading, and writing, types of caching, there are two types of caching, jQuery selectors, XML, and JSON. And now coming to the emergency preparation. Okay, means if you haven't studied anything and you, uh, you have very few uh, uh, less time left, what you have to do is you have to start from the module one. Okay, don't go to module two. Start from the module one, and you have to go to module three, then uh, module uh, four and five. Okay, what are the concepts? Are HTML and CSS. Just go through it quickly. What are the topics you can study? Just study all the topics. Uh, take uh, half an hour and study whatever you can from HTML and CSS. Same topics what I mentioned you. The syntax structure and the elements used in HTML. The benefits of CSS. Location of CSS means internal inline and external very important concepts then get and post array take your time write and practice but don't forget uh, get and post client and uh, client with server there is a diagram as well how it works uh, what is the difference between client and uh, server that you have to study and cookies and caching cookies also reading writing if you get the time study the code or else the theory is sufficient and caching is also there so study two types of caching and finally you have jquery selectors okay so these are the topics and i'll be soon releasing the videos regarding the uh, explanation of each of these concepts what i mentioned in detail so yeah that's all for this video and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one